الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى اما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تعالى ومن يتق الله يكفر يكفر عنه سيئاته اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم My dear brothers I welcome you with the Islamic greetings assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh May peace blessings and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of us Dear brothers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the holy Quran the ayah that i recited and the one who attains taqwa allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives his sins allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically in many many times in the holy quran talks about taqwa and the people who strive to attain taqwa and the people who are muttaqi that means who possess this quality of taqwa and one of the goals one of the aims one of the preface one of the things that the quran is about is how can a person attains taqwa can i request the brother if he don't mind to sit in front yes jazakallah khair so one of the things that is most liked by allah subhanahu wa taala and one of the things which is an aim of the holy quran which is a subject of the holy quran is taqwa that is commonly translated as fear of allah as god consciousness but my dear brothers in its entirety what is taqwa and how can we attain this goal how can we become people who have this taqwa how can we be of muttaqi and then how can we reach to the promises that have been mentioned by allah subhanahu wa taala that are associated with taqwa because allah subhanahu wa taala mentions five different promises to the people of taqwa five different promises for the people who are muttaqi so one of the ways and one of the methods is to worship allah subhanahu wa taala is to involve ourselves in constant zikr constant remembering which will give us the consciousness that there is no other deity to worship except allah subhanahu wa taala allah subhanahu wa taala is watching over us allah subhanahu wa taala is everywhere and the power of allah subhanahu wa taala is everywhere and that allah subhanahu wa taala mentions that it is the people who have the taqwa they leave all kinds of sin not only do they indulge themselves in the zikr in the sala in the tilawa but they cleans their heart with some of the inner sins as well for example there could be arrogance so a person could be praying five times could be doing all the fasting could be doing the tilawa of the holy quran could be giving the charity but still having a arrogance in his heart he is not a muttaqi to be a muttaqi you need to strive towards cleansing of your heart which is to get out of this arrogance to get out of this show off another disease which is known as riya that we do things just to show other people off just for the sake of the people so ikhlas in niyyah is one of the main things that our intentions should be for the allah subhanahu wa taala for the sake of allah subhanahu wa taala anything that we do for the people or for allah subhanahu wa taala it should be purely for the sake of allah subhanahu wa taala only and only similarly jealousy it's a feeling of a heart nobody can see jealousy but if somebody has this thing in his heart his heart is not yet clean and because it has heart is not clean he is not among the muttaqi and he is deprived of the promises that allah subhanahu wa taala has made to the people who are muttaqi and one of the promises that allah subhanahu wa taala mentions of the people who are muttaqi as i recited in the ayah is the person who is muttaqi allah subhanahu wa taala forgives his sins so sins he commits by mistake because everybody commits some kind of mistakes some kind of disobediences but all those sins that he commits if he is striving towards allah subhanahu wa taala if he is striving towards the path of allah subhanahu wa taala to gain the affection of allah subhanahu wa taala to gain the love of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to gain the blessings of allah subhanahu wa taala his sins are forgiven 
Similarly, just like it is just like I want to relate it with a common thing so that we understand it. Just like a child, he commits a mistake. What happens if, to his mother? His mother forgives his mistake. His mother is not very much is, does not always punish his son for mistakes. Similarly, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala love is much more greater, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala forgives the sin. Then another thing, another promise of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is وَيُعْظَمُ لَهُ أَجْرَ that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala multiplies the ajr of the person who is muttaqi. So two rakats of a person who is muttaqi is better than two rakats of a person who is not muttaqi. In today's time and age, it is very easy to understand it. A labor works eight hours, a manager works eight hours, a director works eight hours. But their wage, their per hour rate is different. A labor might be earning twelve euros, manager might be earning twenty five euros, while a director would be making some somewhere about hundred euros. Why? Because of the different qualification, different responsibilities. Similarly, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala bless a muttaqi person in different way than the way that a common person or a person who is not muttaqi is blessed. So there is a difference. Similarly, third is wama yatakullaha yaj Allahu makhraja. This is another blessing of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala about the people who are muttaqi. That Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentions that one who attains taqwa, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala makes a way out for him. So these problems and calamities they come to him. But Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala makes sure that He is the wali of these type of people. He guards these people and He makes a way way out of them. So, dear brothers, it is important that we try try to attain this taqwa, try to gain so that we, whenever a problem comes to us, we are not involving ourselves in a blame game. We are not involving that this happened to us because of this and that. Allah says in the Holy Quran that. The difficulties do not befall you, but because of your own hands, and that sometimes the person, even if he is attaining taqwa and he is striving, sometimes he is thinking that I am attaining taqwa. Why are these problems and difficulties coming to me? Because somewhere or the other in his life there are sins involved, and he might not be thinking the gravity of those sins. How grave are those sins? How big are those sins? Just as I mentioned about jealousy, arrogance, we do not think them as sins. These are, my dear brothers, very big illnesses of the heart that we need to work upon. And a dua of a person who have this hatred in his heart, it is not even accepted on the day, on the on the nights of Laylatul Qadr. Imagine how much blessing of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala he is missing out just because he is keeping hatred of someone in his heart. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentions the fourth benefit, which is. That, that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentions that one who attains taqwa, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala la fatahna alaihim barakatim min al sama wal ard. That Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will open doors for him of baraka. So he may not have millions, but yet he will be sufficient. He does not have to get his hands onto everybody to ask for money. He would be self-sufficient. Allah will provide for him. Allah will look after him. Allah will put baraka in him. Sometimes we mix baraka with the kasrat. And we all strive to gain kasrat more and more and more and more. But one euro or one thing with barka is better than hundred euros. If a person has good health, he is sound in health. It is better than if he is ill with millions. So these are all the blessings that we need to account for, and we need to be thankful. These things of in our heart being ungrateful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala takes away takes us away from the path of the taqwa. And my dear brothers, the final. Thing is that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala yajal lakum furqana. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala gives him an ability of farsightedness. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala takes care of his decisions. He is involved in his decisions. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala makes decisions for him, which are of benefit. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala makes it that he can see that he is able to make decisions which are of profit to him, which are of benefit to him in this world and in the akhirah as well. And it is mentioned. اتقوا الله اتقوا فراسة المؤمن فإنه ينظر بنور الله. That be afraid of the farasa of the moment of the far sightedness of moment because he sees with the nur of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentions that through his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that a person indulges in nafli in non obligatory acts so much so that Allah becomes his eyes, Allah becomes his tongue. Meaning that what he says, what he he has that far sightedness. to predict things to get to know things 
Hazrat Usman radiallahu anhu was sitting with fellow companions and a person came to his majlis and he said without looking at, a, at that person he mentions, he says what happened to the people they come to our majlis while they commit zina the person said yes sheikh you are right I, when I coming to, towards your majlis I, I looked at Amana Mehram I indulged myself in the zina of um, I so this farsightedness things which, are, which cannot be predicted by normal humans this is given to the people who are muttaqi. So this taqwa is something we need to strive for. This taqwa is something we need to ask for. This is this is will only come through trial and error, through the ways that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us, through following the ways of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So my dear brothers, just to summarize the five benefits that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives. To a people, to the person who has this taqwa, inshallah, we, we I don't have time, so we will talk about it later on. A person who is muttaqi, number one, his sins are forgiven. Number two, his ajar is multiplied. Number three, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes a way out for him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him barqa in his risk. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him the ability to make the right decision. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all people of taqwa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to indulge in the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can gain, get God consciousness and we can gain this taqwa. And these promises are true for ourselves. Alhamdulillah.